So, three laps with an Aston Martin V12 Vantage S manual at Castle Coombe. This thing is a weapon. It's unbelievable. 570 almost horsepower, silly, silly, silly torque, and a manual gearbox. 0 to 62 takes 3.7 seconds. Top speed, 205 miles an hour, which is very, very fast for a car this size. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. It's absolutely minuscule, but it's utterly brilliant. I'm in love with it. The gearbox itself, basically, where there was once a seven-speed robotized manual which was slushy, slow, and a bit rubbish, now there's a seven-speed dogleg manual which is not slushy and not slow and not really that rubbish. There isn't much space for all the ratios though, which is a bit tricky when you're trying to get a particular one. That's not ideal. However, once you get it, it takes a while. Last time I drove one of these, or this one to be precise, it took me a couple of days and then I finally got used to the gearbox. And once you get it, oh man, it's good. You can heel and tow it really easily. Now it's brakes, a little bit of sponge, and then, oh, they're oh so solid. You get proper linear thump of stopping power, which is good because this car is amazingly fast. Corners beautifully, the steering, oh man, so smooth. A little bit of, little bit of hesitance on turning and then it just grabs you and off you go. It's proper, this thing. It's a serious bit of kit. <laughs> it just makes me giggle like a child because this is 2016, cars like this shouldn't exist. That's ridiculous. Why on earth would you have a car like this? It's got a big naturally aspirated V12 and, and a manual gearbox. It's pretty much unheard of nowadays. And it's a shame it's unheard of, but this exists. This is the proof. Away we go, hello. <laughs> this is the proof that there are some people with a sense of humour and I salute you. Well done Aston Martin. This thing is chuffing brilliant and I don't want it to die. I really, really don't.